welcome back. Um, I've spent quite some time off camera just sort of trying, fiddling, getting the um, getting the, the panel fit just right. Let me just squeeze myself down the position. I'm now going to sort of tack um, the patch. The, the, the patch is tacked around here, and um, I'm now going to tack it to the um, to the to the floor edging. Um, let's see. It's just a piece of uh, it's a piece of wire off. Um, off a bucket handle I've just bent it over just to make a little hook and what I want to do is just shouldn't to pull the panel out slightly because I want to start in the middle there we go that's it that's it so I'm going to tack it in the middle and then push it to the edge um, so if I start here and start here, you then start to lose control with the, with the um, if it distorts, you struggle to pull it out in the way you've just seen me do. So let's just, I've got a, oof, I'm zoomed in rather a lot. So uh, this is um, it's a big old, um, it's a soldering iron actually. I just want to just press this roughly into place. I need something that can cope with the heat. There we go, pop this. You probably can't see, and I'm going to use the vice just to hold at the bottom of the uh, bottom of the soldering iron, just as a just to, just to stop the soldering iron slipping away. Come on, that's it. That's it. That's a good position, actually. There we go. Right. It's rather in my way. I need to be lying there, but um, I put a larger. A larger nozzle, a number three nozzle in the um, in the torch, which is a bit a bit thick for welding um, 0.9 millimeter steel um, sheet. But um, this the flange is two it's two folds, it's two sheets welded together, and a number two nozzle just can't quite cope. So um, what I do, I use a slightly a slightly larger. I'm using a number three nozzle instead of a number two, and I'm going to direct the heat directly onto the thicker steel and allow the heat to rise and cause a molten pour. I'm not going to put the torch directly as much as I can help it um, on the um, on the uh, on the thinner gauge. I need to just turn the turn the nozzle slightly just to aid aid my uh, the less twisting and so on I have to do the better because this is it's a bloody awkward position at the best of times. So let's just get a tack if I get the torch lit up. There we go. Let's get that away from the body of the car. So I can just get a couple of tacks on, then um, I can start, you know, tacking, tapping into shape, tapping. That's a lot louder because it's, it's a larger, you can probably hear that roaring. It's a larger nozzle. Okay. I need to keep myself out of the way of the flame, but I'm going to aim the flame at the flange which is two sheets welded together and try and avoid direct contact with the flame on the thinner material there we go oh very awkward weld because i i can't really get my head in there for obvious reasons i do not want to be uh putting my head directly and oh, the flames changed i don't want my body directly underneath the um the job in case of any 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 molten splash it would go straight onto me and this flame is 2700 degrees centigrade it's extremely hot and you can imagine if that dropped on me i'd be in a world of trouble so i'm sort of i can't really see i'm lying out of the way Ugh. gosh that's can't see if this is working or not to be honest with you <sighs> I think it is. Uh, just try and get another weld the other side. Hi. Yeah, once I've got another weld the other side, I can pull the soldering iron out of the way. Oh, yeah, we just got a splash of molten metal there. I don't know if you saw that fall, but you can imagine I'd be whistling and screaming if I'd have been lying there with a, a bead of molten metal just dropped straight to my body it's dropped on the cardboard i can smell it burning the cardboard below me but i'm not going to stop i don't know if you when i play the film back we'll, we'll be able to work out whether that was visible in the uh, in the camera when the little bit it dropped and, uh, there we go 
That's it. Torch off. All right, that's all I wanted. I can get the, uh, there we go. Now that's worked beautifully. There's a lot of soot and burnt paint. So I'm going to get the, um, the wire brush, give it, clean it up a bit. Yeah, that's really good. I'm really pleased with that. So I can now, I can now sort of tap and just get a few more on. I'm not going to do any more on camera. It, it, the camera is sort of, I, I'm, I'm struggling and it, obviously I like filming it, but it really slows me down. I need to, but you get the idea. I'm going to put a few more tacks on that and um, I'll, I, I need to dress this into shape. So um, I'll, I won't film any more welding, but I'll, I'll film me dressing with the weight, how I deal with the distortion. I think that's quite important to show. Let me just turn the camera off now and we'll come back to when it's been tacked and I'll be dressing the shape. <laughs> 